This is a Ramana Maharshi clip, a talk by Ramana Maharshi with comments by Richard Clark. This is a time to listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is talk number 100, part one. Later, Sri Bhagavan quoted from Kevalya some verses and explained. First, the highest is the supreme, knowledge absolute, the witness, the self-shining core, the heart, the self. Within the supreme is the individual, the jiva, the knower, consisting of riti, the mode of mind stuff, and reflected light in the latent form. Then within that is the internal intellect and the outgoing mind, buddhi and manas, consisting of riti and reflected light as a sprout this is the anta karana, the inner organ. And this consists of modes taking shape as objects together with common knowledge. And together they form the world as we perceive it. Then from another angle of view, at the top, the highest is the self, pure knowledge. Within the self is the jiva, pramatar, the knower. Within that is the intellect and the mind, pramana, perception. And that consists of modes seen as objects together with knowledge, thala, chatnaya. The modes of mind take shape as external objects, and the lights reflected on the modes illumines the objects. Now, neglecting the modes of mind, look for the light illuminating them. The mind becomes still, and the light remains self-shining. The undulating mind, that is, the mind associated with rajas, activity and tamas darkness is commonly known as the mind devoid of rajas and tamas it is pure and self-shining this is self-realization therefore the mind is said to be the means for it from another point of view at the highest is pure consciousness said to be the eternal or ever-present witness. Within that is the Anta Karana, the inner organ plus the reflected light. And within that, these modes together with the light are said to be Pramaya, the known. Of these, the objects are gross and the light is called Phila Chatnaya. Then the Jiva in the inner organ, Anta Karana, consists of Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas, the knowledge, the light of awareness, the modes of mind, intellect in the mind, and the gross objects of the world. Similarly, for the cosmos, the cosmic mind, the eternal being, also are sattva, rajas, and tamas. Here, sattva is Isvara, the lord of the universe. Rajas is the individual, the jiva, and tamas is 
the universe. This talk by Ramana Maharshi dives into the profound teachings of Advaita Vedanta, focusing on the nature of reality and consciousness. Ramana often elucidated these complex concepts in simple terms. In the first part, section A, Ramana begins by describing the various aspects of the self, the supreme or absolute referred to as the self is the ultimate reality. It encompasses the individual, the jiva, which consists of the latent mind stuff and the reflected light of the self. Additionally, the internal intellect and the outgoing mind, buddhi and manas, are part of this inner organ known as antakarana. These modes take shape as objects and together form the world as we perceive it. In section B, Ramana talks about the distinction between the self, pure knowledge, and the jiva, the individual knower. The intellect and mind within the jiva are described as modes of perception, pramana, and are seen as objects of cognitive knowledge, pala chatnaya. The mind's modes shape external objects, and the light reflected in these modes illuminates these objects. Ramana encourages us to transcend the mode of the mind and seek the self-shining light that illuminates them. When the mind becomes still and devoid of activity and darkness, rajas and tamas, it reveals its pure self-shining nature. Here is where you find self-realization. This self-realization is the key to understanding your true self. Self-realization occurs when the mind becomes still and the self-shining light remains. Section C explores pure consciousness as the eternal witness. The inner organ, antakarana, and the reflected light, jiva, combine to form all that is known, with objects being gross and the light called phala chetnaya. Phala chetnaya represents the consciousness aspect of the process. It is the awareness or light of consciousness that illumines or makes known the objects of perception. In section D, Ramana talks about the individual and the cosmos, the individual jiva and the universal brahman both consist of sattva peace rajas activity and tamas inactivity in the individual these manifest as knowledge the mind and the world for the cosmic mind isvara they manifest as the individual Atman, the universal Brahman, and the consciousness and being that exists as both Atman and Brahman. This talk is an exploration of the relationship between the individual self and the universal reality using the framework of Advaita Vedanta. It underscores 
the importance of transcending the mind's mode to realize your true self-shining nature and how this realization leads to self-realization. Ramana's teachings encourage a profound shift in perspective from identifying with the limited individual to recognizing the boundless eternal nature of the self, your self. I'll talk about the rest of Ramana's discussion in the next session. So inquire, know yourself and be always free and at peace. These videos help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now 